Hi, I'm Frank Rye from publicspace.net. Today I'm going to show you how to change the shooting dates of the photos that you might have taken with your camera, your iPhone, taken off the internet, or scanned in with your scanner. We're going to be using my Better Find Attributes utility for the Mac to do this. Better Find Attributes 7 supports changing shooting dates for a variety of file formats, including almost all raw photo formats, such as Sony's ARW, Canon CR2 and CR3s, Nikon's NEF format, and many others besides. To demonstrate this, I'm just going to drag in some old playground pictures from my kids. These are JPEG pictures, but the procedure is exactly the same for other formats. Let's first select one of the pictures to see what the Better Find attributes can see inside of them. The first row is the file path. This is where your image file is located on your hard disk. The next two rows are the file creation and modification dates. It's important to realize that these are not the same as the shooting dates that are used by photo management software, like Apple's Photos, to organize your pictures. These dates are part of the file system. A file system, in essence, is a big ledger or catalog that keeps track of which area of your hard disk is associated with which files. In that big ledger, it tracks the path to your files and some other data that is associated with your file. The file creation and modification dates are part of that ledger entry. And that also means that they can change when you open and edit your files, when you move them around to a different location or a different device, etc. Photo management software usually completely ignores that data. Below this, we can see the daytime original and the daytime digitized. These fields are completely different because your camera writes these at the very moment that you take your picture and embeds them in the file itself. This data is there forever, unless you edit it with software that isn't very careful about preserving it, which unfortunately does happen quite a lot. Sometimes, however, this date is completely wrong usually because the camera's internal clock is set incorrectly. If you travel a lot, that can also result in time zone errors, and then your Tokyo nightlife pictures end up being tagged as New York breakfast time pictures. The daytime original is the timestamp that is used by Apple Photos and other photo management software to keep track of when your picture was taken. The daytime digitized is used for scanned photos to indicate when the scanned image was shot. Many scanned images do not contain any indication of when the scanned picture was taken, and you have to use a third-party utility, like a better find attributes, to set this field. In practice, it's often better to set both the daytime original and the daytime digitized timestamp for such images, because the former is more widely supported. Both of these fields are part of the EXIF standard that is used by almost all JPEG files these days. Below this, you can see a variety of other date-related information, like the content creation date, the QuickTime TIFF create date, and the media create date. These are mostly used for video files, and in particular QuickTime files. The composite create date deserves special mention. This is not in fact a date that is part of any file format, but it is the date that the Better Find Attributes uses for a variety of file manipulations. You can see, for instance, that it is the data that is used in the composite column over here. And it is actually the same as the daytime original. Because there are so many different file formats for both image and video content, a better file attributes chooses the most appropriate shooting date for each file format, and then shows you this in the composite column. This makes it easy to manipulate different file formats at the same time. For image files, it usually shows the daytime original, if this exists, and the daytime digitized, if not. If it shows nothing at all, then the file contains no shooting date information that the Better Find attributes can read. Now with all that out of the way, let's change some shooting dates. Over here in the top left corner, we have the action pop-up that determines what we want to do. We will select Set Exif Content Creation Timestamp to change our photo's shooting date. I've chosen to refer to the shooting date as Exif Content Creation Date in the user interface, even though this might not be 100% correct because I found that people find this easy to understand, even if they don't know the subtleties of daytime original, TIFF dates, media create dates, etc. Below this, you can set whichever date and time you want. There are also some handy buttons that set the date to today, or zero out of seconds, or the seconds and the minutes to get a cleaner look, if that is what you are after. Finally, you have these two pop-up buttons that determine which actual timestamp is being set by this action. For images, the default is set date time original, which works with most image formats. But you also have the option of only setting 
daytime digitized, which technically is the correct choice for a scanned photo, or both, which might be best in practice because it is more widely supported. For some image files, especially non-photo image files, set TIFF create date is the right choice. We are not going to go into detail about the options for movie files in this video. So let's dial in the 13th of June 2011 at 12 noon. Then we click on the Perform Changes button. A better find attributes then goes into all of the image files and changes the dates to the new value. And we can see the results in the table. That's it for this short tutorial. I hope you found it to be useful. Please subscribe for more content and leave a comment if you want to see a video about a specific topic. Thanks for watching.